Today we're going to be doing a lab experiment, and we're going to be finding out the formula of a hydrate. So, what's a hydrate, you ask? Well, a hydrate is a salt that's been crystallized from water solution. When it's heated, um, it gives off water. These compounds, called hydrates, contain water. When heated with a Bunsen burner and a crucible, the water is driven off and the remaining ionic formula is called anhydrous. Let's meet my friends who are going to help me in this experiment. First we have Hot Jazz, we have Cool Danny, and Master James. So for this experiment, we're going to need distilled water that looks like this, a hydrate given to you by your teacher that looks like this in the form of blue crystals, you also need your flint, your Bunsen burner, a clay triangle to put your crucible on, and an iron ring with your stand. You will also need a crucible and a cover, and crucible tongs. And finally, you will need an electronic balance. Ladies, remember to tie your hair up. And always wear safety goggles, because safety first. triangle and to keep the lid slightly off. In this step we are going to heat the crucible to evaporate any moisture that will be left in the crucible maybe if someone used it before. So first we will start to heat up the crucible. Remember Safety Cindy says always check the rubber tubing for any cracks so that no gas leaks out while lighting the Bunsen burner. So first we turn on the gas and then we ignite the fire by rubbing the flint. Adjust it to your preferred heating and put it under the crucible. Leave this on for two to three minutes. Now that your three minutes is over, turn off the gas and you are sure that your crucible will have no moisture in it. This will ensure that when you weigh your crucible, it will not add any mass. <laughs> Hey, it's Cool Danny. Now, after heating the crucible for three minutes, we're just going to allow it to cool down for another three minutes. So let's just see if it's... Wait a minute! Safety Cindy says, don't touch that. The crucible is hot. Use the crucible tongs. Okay, now you have to weigh the crucible in the cover. Take the cover with your tongs and place it on the scale. Then carefully take the crucible with your tongs, slowly and place that on your scale. Wait for it to settle and then record the given mass. Then you will need to add the hydrate to your crucible. You will only need 5 grams. Then, slowly put the crucible back onto your clay triangle. And then place the lid slightly off. Thank you, Master James. Now that we have our hydrate in a crucible, it's time to heat it up once more. Turn on the gas. Ignite your flame. might take a few tries. There we go. And put it under the crucible. Gradually increase the heat until the bottom of the crucible turns a dull red. So this will prevent the crucible from cracking because it's too hot. And let this heat up for five minutes. So now we're going to completely cover the crucible with the lid using our tongs and wait for it to cool for five more minutes. After the five minutes has elapsed, you will have to take the mass of the lid, the crucible, 
and it's and the hydrate inside. But wait, the hydrate inside has been heated and its contents have been evaporated. So this compound is now called an, an, an anhydrous compound because it, it no longer has its water. Put the crucible and lid on the, on the scale, let it settle, and record the mass given. Now that you have recorded your mass, you have to reheat the crucible once more. So bring it back to the clay triangle. And leave the lid slightly off. You must reheat this for another five minutes to make sure all the water is completely driven out of the hydrate. Turn on the gas and ignite your flame. So now we're going to turn the gas off and using our tongs we're going to place the lid right on top of the crucible again and we're just going to allow it to cool down for another five minutes. Once again you have to take the mass of the lid, the crucible and the contents of the crucible. Take the crucible with your tongs and carefully place it on the scale. This mass should be within three hundredths of a gram with the last measurement. If it isn't, you should talk to your instructor about your mass determination process or with the, your heating process. So now that our crucible is cool, we're going to take a few drops of distilled water. This is because the ionic compound inside is now anhydrous. We're going to add the water to make it hydrate again. So, crucible tongs! Look at what's happening! It's turning blue! Record your observation. We hope you enjoyed our video. Please remember to rewatch the video if needed while conducting trial two and print out the lab report, which is found down below. And on behalf of Hot Jazz, Safety Sydney, Cool Danny, Master James, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Woo! <laughs> okay, this is great, great bloopers. Okay, I have this hair sticking out. Hi guys, I'm Cindy. I'm safe to Cindy. Damn it! <laughs> From the beginning. <laughs> oh, that's so awkward. <laughs> Place your clean, dry crucible on top of your clay triangle. <laughs> that was like clay ring. <laughs> okay, do I do it again? Yeah. First, you take your gas. No, 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 no. I need to jump in. Okay, what am I supposed to do? I'm gonna wait like for you to. Hey, let's check the rubber tubing. Okay. <laughs> Gas. And then you. Oh. <laughs> gas, 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 gas. Okay, I'll. No, they have to change this one. It won't work. <laughs> Sorry. We have to... Okay, now you'll have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Just go again. Just keep going, keep going. Okay. Thank you, Master James. Now, <laughs> <laughs> and our hydrate, it is time to heat up the. Go. I want a compound inside. Well, everyone talking doesn't help that because then we gotta we yeah, gotta we gotta do redo the shot. Okay. Okay. Remember, use a crucible.
to print out the lab report which is found down below and remember to comment right and subscribe <laughs> I like an and Yeah, right? Did it stop? No. 